Hello, I'm Trevor from P&T Poultry and in this video I'm showing you Titan Incubator's new high intensity egg candler. When you open your candler you'll have the main body of the candler attached to the cable and a plug. Also in the candler, in the box, you will find a small end piece. This is for the small eggs so it tightens the beam of the candler down into the small eggs and on the candler you'll have the large egg. So at any time large eggs top. So anytime you can change the caps. If you have smaller eggs for quail or something like that you can just push on the small egg cap and if you have large eggs such as well chickens, ducks, turkeys anything even pheasants you can use the large one right up to rear an ostrich. Right. What makes the Titan egg so exciting so special is that in this particular part of the candler they've built the transformer inside the candler. This is not just an empty tube, this has actually got a transformer built inside. Now by building a special a transformer for the candler they're able to get a much higher light intensity. Here's, a, here's the Titan and here's a leading competitor. You can see the huge difference between the light available. We turn the, the Titan off, that's the leading competitor's unit and this is Titan. You can see the huge difference in that, and that's because Titan have built in their own transformer into the unit, allowing a much brighter beam with no heat at all. The perfect high intensity egg candler. To explain further, a leading competitor, their transformer is built into a plug, so it's just a standard transformer plug, so therefore you can only get a certain amount of light source out of the unit depending on the plug they purchase. As I said again, the Titan unit has its own special built transformer inside the unit specially built for an egg candler only, allowing that much, much higher light source, brighter light source. This is a leading competitor's high intensity candler without a specialized transformer for the unit. This is Titan egg candler with a specialized transformer. As you can see, the difference between the two is huge, and that is why we're so excited about this new egg candler. Unfortunately, while making this video, we're now in early February, so I'm not incubating any eggs, but what I will do, I'll show you the basics of egg candling with, unfortunately, incubators that haven't been in the egg. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get your eggs, ensure they're clean to go in the incubator, and you candle, always candle from the fat end. You turn your slight sauce on, you candle. As you can see, you should be able to see inside. Now this is a very dark egg and this candler gets in there no problem at all and you can see everything that's happening there. You can see the small air sac at this end. Maybe it will be very hard to see on the video but there's a tiny air sac because this is a very fresh egg. You got the, And then you can see inside you've got the yolk this side as well. You can see, so you can see the yolk, the main sac of the egg and then the tiny air sac. Okay, so that egg is perfect to go into your incubator. Again, you check all eggs. Lighter eggs you'll see even more. You see how bright that is into a light egg? You may even be able to see the air sac there. You can see the air sac, and then you can see the yolk down the other end. Perfect. But the other beautiful thing is, when you're candling, as well, it's very important is to candle your eggs before you put them in, and only to show you as you can see there, that egg is badly cracked. If you put this egg inside the incubator, what will happen is it will seep, it will leak out the incubator while you're incubating, and it will go off and create a lot of bacteria. This bacteria then, believe it or not, will actually get inside tiny, tiny microscopic pores on all the other eggs, and it will actually um, weaken the chicks or even kill them while they're incubating. So hygiene and good quality eggs is very important. So that's the first use of the candler before the eggs even go in, is to check the quality of them, make sure there's no cracks or anything. We're going to say these cracks will cause you big problems in incubation. Number one, this chick obviously won't develop, but more importantly, this will weaken, if not kill, all the other developing chicks in the incubator. Okay, once you've put, tested the eggs and they're all clean and they're all good quality, you put them in the incubator. And then the next stage of egg candling is on day seven. Unfortunately, I don't have any at day seven at this stage, but I will do a video later. And at day seven, what you should expect to see, if your egg is like this, it looks exactly like this still, on day seven, then it, it can be discarded because it's not fertile. But what you would normally see on day seven, you will see tiny little veins starting to form. And you'll see 
how the yolk starts to break up and starts to create into the chick. You'll see lots of veins and you'll also start to see the egg sac getting slightly larger. And you need to do that with all the eggs. If it's the first time you candled on day seven and you're not convinced that you're seeing everything right, what you would do better to do then is just make a note of the eggs that you think are infertile and check them again on day 10. And if at day 10 they're still in this situation, then you should have enough confidence to discard the eggs. But look at them carefully, take your time, but if you do see blood vessels then you're doing well and that's fantastic. So on day 7, basic candling, look at this. If you see issues like this, if your egg looks like this, then discard it. If you're not comfortable, that's fine. Wait till day 10, and if it still looks like this on day 10, then it's definitely time to discard it. Okay, so I've shown you the very basics of egg candling. Um, I will do another video on egg candling to show you how to do it throughout the incubation period, but today is just to show you the new Titan Incubators High Intensity Egg Candler. And as you can see, the, bright, the light source on this is much brighter than everyone else because it's specifically built as an egg candler, not using parts from other things. And as you can see, the beautiful thing with this egg candler is you get a much brighter light and no heat at all. Very reliable. In my personal opinion, the best price there is and the best high-intensity candle on the market at the moment. <laughs>